Hey guys, Modslink here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Henkaku exploit on your PlayStation Vita. In order to do this, you're going to need obviously your console and you're going to need an uh, internal card such as this one here. This one here is a 16 gig one. If you guys need one, links will be down in the video's description for this as well as the console since this works on any PS Vita at the moment except for some of the newer ones that don't use a card. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. So get your card and put it in the console. Then go ahead and just boot the console on. Now here as you can see this console hasn't been turned on for a long time so I have to reset the clock. Once it's on, go ahead and make sure that your network settings are on and that your Wi-Fi is connected to your local Wi-Fi network. Here as you can see the version, the current version is 3.18 and we'll be upgrading this console to 3.60. So here is the updating process. So this exploit here will only work on firmware 3.60, so make sure you update your console soon before Sony releases a new software update and ends up patching this exploit. Additionally, in order to use this exploit, you will need a computer and an FTP client such as FileZilla. Now at this point you need to decide if you want to keep your uh, PSN account or if you want to use a completely new one to avoid the possibility of being banned. Uh, here I don't want to get my main account banned so I'm going to restore the system and remove my main account. Now that that's done just go through the first time setup on the console. Now, uh, Sony hasn't banned anyone, at least that anyone's aware of, but there is always the possibility of being banned, as you guys know, with any of these hacks. So, this is just a extra step for precaution. Now, once your console is up and running, go ahead and make sure your Wi-Fi is connected once again. And then go ahead and open up the web browser. And here, go to the following URL, which is uh, henkaku dot x y z h e n k a k u dot x y z press enter and this will take you to the Henkaku website where you can learn more about what Henkaku is, how it works, uh, your requirements as mentioned earlier you will need your PS Vita on firmware 3.60, an internet connection, an FTP client, and a memory card. And also down here you get a special notice which says it is important that you never update your Vita past 3.60 if you ever wish to use Hinokaku now or in the future. Uh, basically if you update the console to a higher firmware this will no longer work. This currently only works on firmware 3.60. Once you're ready, click the install button here and agree to these terms and click install again. And then once this comes up, click OK.
this will initiate this installer by Molecule. Molecule is uh, about four different developers uh, as a team working to crack the PS Vita. So this will install something called a Molecule Shell. Once you get this little green line of text, it's done. It will minimize by itself. Then you can close this out and then scroll down and here you will see the molecular shell that I was just talking about. Now go ahead and launch this. And in here you will have your home directories and this gives you access to all the directories on the memory card, which is something that we haven't had before on a PS Vita. Additionally, if you go over here and press select, it will activate an FTP server and it will run your server on this IP address and it will also show a port there. The default port is 1337. So get a program like FileZilla and type this IP address in there as well as the port number. The username and password can be left blank and then click quick connect and you will see those three directories once again. Now here as you can see, if the client is not activated, it will not work, it won't let you uh, browse the files unless this FTP server running screen is up. Alright, so we got that working, so how do we get files or games installed. So go to this directory here. Anywhere on the UX0 directory, you can put any of these files, uh, which will also be listed down in the video's description as the showcase link. So any of these VPK files can be transferred over to any folder on the UX0 folder on the PS Vita. Here we transferred a Game Boy Advance and a Doom application. Once they're transferred over with the FTP client, you can go and browse to them manually on the console and then get these applications installed. So select the VPK uh, file and just press X to install it. And here the Game Boy Advance one didn't work out because it's a VELF file, not a VPK. So we'll have to look into that later on. But here we'll go ahead and test out Doom. And at the top corner here it says no WADs found. So we need to go and figure out where to get a WAD file. And I'll have a link in the description to the Doom WAD files that I used. So here it'll just give you error codes until you get a WAD file installed. So go back into Molecular Shell, uh, initiate your FTP client or FTP server go into the UX0 folder and then in here go to the data folder and this is a different WAD that I tried but it didn't work so I downloaded a couple of other WAD files which you can see here as Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3 and I'll transfer all three of those over to the data Doom WADs folder then once that's done, we can go ahead and close Molecular Shell, go back to Doom. And now you can see the three WAD files up at the top. So we can select them and test this out. And here you can see Doom running. You can see the FPS up here at the top corner. And everything seems to run pretty smoothly. The only thing is it, it doesn't have uh, sound. And also the joysticks don't seem to work. 
So either. what happens when the console is turned off all the way? Well, I'll show you right now. So go ahead and turn the console off. Turn it back on. And then go ahead and try and launch a homebrew application and you will get an error code because Henkaku hasn't been activated yet. So the easy way to do it is to open up Molecular Shell and click on this install link. This will automatically go to Hinakaku.xyz. It will automatically install the molecular shell again. Now you can close this out. And now you should be able to launch your homebrew application. And here you can see the application running now without any problems and without throwing out any error codes. So that is it for my tutorial on how to install Henkaku through the web browser, to install Molecular Shell, to run a homebrew application such as Doom, uh, Sega Genesis emulator, Sega Master System emulator, and this here I believe is a Super Nintendo emulator, and there is also other applications such as this FTP Vita application. More applications are under development, so they should be released soon. But anyways, that is it for this tutorial. If you guys found it helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share this video. Also consider subscribing for future tutorials such as this one. And also consider checking out some of these sponsors down in the video's description. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.